Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Zach with IT Career Questions and today we're going to be setting up this computer. As you guys may have seen in a previous video, my last computer, we're back here. It died. So we're going to replace it with almost identical pieces because the computer that I built was amazing. I loved every bit of it. Honestly, it performed outstanding. It by far exceeded my expectations. So today we're going to be throwing in the 750 watt Seasonic power supply. We're going to be putting in the AMD Ryzen 2700X CPU. We're going to be throwing in this B450 Aurora's Pro Wi-Fi motherboard, the six gig Asus, was it 1060 video card? Uh, this is a 512, I believe, crucial solid state drive. And then of course, 32 gigs of the crucial, or 32 gigs of the uh, Corsair Vengeance RAM. So super stoked about this. You guys can find in the description below links to all of this stuff. So make sure you guys check that out. Let's start building. All right, so one thing to note is that you guys are gonna see multiple camera angles here, and I'm going to end up speeding things up, and I'll be doing a lot of voiceovers because this process can take a bit of time, and I don't wanna really have a lot of you know dull time or of me just screwing things in and not really saying anything because I'm concentrating, right? It's really important that we make sure that we get everything done correctly, and I'll follow up with the voiceover uh, after the fact here, make sure that we kind of explain um, everything that we're doing so that you guys can understand because again, this is a really easy process. So the first thing that we're gonna do is unscrew this case and make sure that we set all of our screws aside, collect them so we don't lose them. Very carefully take off this tempered glass. Ooh, so fancy. Now here is what a completely blank case uh, looks like. There's obviously nothing inside here. We have a couple fans that came pre-installed uh, within this, but other than that, there's nothing here. We have our, our bolts um, put into place for our motherboard to go. Let's see multiple angles here. We're actually gonna take off the rear panel as well because we wanna make sure that we have as much access to the inside of this case as possible. So we just have a couple screws in the back here that we got to take out and the case just slides off right in the back. Typically it just slides off We're getting stuck on something. There we go. So there's the back panel. So now you guys see we have a fully exposed case. Again, there's nothing in there other than the fans that came pre-installed with it. We have our, our screws in the back here. And undo these. Now, one thing to uh, to take note of is we have a little control panel back here uh, that came with this case. Uh, this control panel is for our fans that are pre-installed in there. And then we have all of our other cables that need to be plugged into the motherboard. Now this part, it drives me nuts because once you place the motherboard in there, uh, it can somewhat be difficult to start plugging these in. But you know, we'll, we'll try to show you guys this process as best as we can. We're just gonna leave everything there like that though, because what I like to do next, and it may not be typical that everybody goes this, this exact route. Um, I think everybody kind of does things differently. Uh, there could be an absolute correct way to do it. Um, but at the end of the day, as long as you, you do what you're, you're set out to do, you should be okay. So next thing that we're gonna do is crack open our motherboard. Some extra SATA cables. Uh, we have our Wi-Fi adapter, good to note. And some other various connectors. Oh, this is really nice. This I don't think I, I've seen before. That's really cool. So this little bit, bit right here, which I should probably take a picture with on my phone so you guys can see a better better version of it back here gotta take off now i think it's important to note like when you first start doing this if you haven't done it a couple times you're going to be so completely cautious with how you touch these how you handle them but i assure you i mean just handling them <laughs> pretty normally is fine um it's going to take a lot to do some damage to this thing 
I mean, you still want to be careful. Like you, you don't want to obviously knock into any of the uh, uh, capacitors and things here because uh, it is possible you could break them off. But just handling it, you know, from the bottom, trying not to put your fingers on them um, as much as possible is is obviously going to be ideal here. Now, I stated before, we have um, we have our screws put in place already. It should be pre-configured. Um, properly for any board to kind of be placed right inside of it. So what we can do is just kind of set it in. And I have I have a cable over here that's going to drive me insane. I feel like there we go. So just kind of set it into place. You want to make sure that it goes right over where our screws are now you do you might have to fidget with it a little bit to get it put into place but we got it Our video here so we want to make sure that the holes that we have within the motherboard are lining up with our screws you see we have the screws behind there we have holes in the motherboard you know just making sure they all line up should be fairly easy right so once you start screwing it in it it, it all goes into place all right, so next we're gonna break out some of our screws i'm just gonna kind of there you go dump all these out because i will not be able to get to most of these without doing that I'm going to use a lot of these. Here are our motherboard screws. It might be really hard to see within that on that camera there. There we go. Motherboard screws. Now, if you guys are, aren't sure which screw it is, because as you can see, these are all the screws that actually came with the case. Let's see how that works. Yep. Um, you guys can refer to the manual. I wanted to make sure I take this out so you guys kind of understand and see. It's actually, let's see. There you go. Accessory. You can see we have a whole list of the type of screws that came with it, the case and what they are for. Next up, we're going to be screwing this bad boy in. This is where we fast forward, Zach. Now you don't want to make it too tight. You like you don't want to over tighten this because I mean you do have the risk of any type of damage from over tightening. I mean that's just the case with anything when you have to screw things in and tighten them. So be careful. You don't have to you don't have to torque it all the way. Just make sure that that there's a nice, you know, kind of snug fit there. I like to have a few different kinds of screwdrivers available. Uh, sometimes, especially with like larger screwdrivers, it's harder to get into the tighter spaces. Now the hardest part of uh, screwing anything in with computers, if you are fat like me and you have fat hands, kind of like me, getting into these tight spaces, uh, <laughs> They could be somewhat difficult. And don't be like me where you forget to take the plastic off and it's gonna be such a tight fit. Whew, we got it. All right, so now we got the motherboard put in. It's secured. We can turn it, go like this. <laughs> we can do a lot of things with it because we have it screwed in now. So we shouldn't have any type of problems. Yeah, next thing, get some of these cables ready to go, ready to be plugged in. So what we could do is kind of separate these by um, our switch, essentially, because these ones right here are some of the most important, and as far as I'm concerned, difficult uh, to put in correctly. Because of the fact that they're so small and you try to get them in to the motherboard, it can be difficult. So we have this little piece that we can use to then um, make sure that we're plugging everything in the correct way. 
can see we have our uh, our power and LED. So we have power negative, power uh, LED positive. Now what we need to do is find on here where those are. And you can see on here that they are all labeled. See, they're labeled with what they are. Here we have uh, power LED positive, power LED negative. We have our, our reset switch. We have our uh, HDD LED, hard drive LED, and power switch. So we need our power positive and power negative, which we had found right here. And you can see our negative, hopefully you guys can see, negative goes here, um, positive right there, positive on top, negative on the bottom. Now, should just clip right in there. Right. That one's not going in all the way. There we go. Next we have uh, our power. It's gonna be our power switch. So here's our power switch. We have power, positive, negative. I just wanted to clarify, this doesn't have a, a positive or negative on there, but it does have an arrow on the back and the arrow is positive. So you can go ahead and plug it in right there. God, this thing right here makes it so incredibly easy. I've never had a motherboard that's had that before. It's so difficult when it doesn't have it, and you'll see why. All right, so we have our HDD LED. We have uh, HD right there. So we have positive on the bottom, negative on the top. So this one goes in right here, just like that. <laughs> and it just clips in, this is amazing. Uh, reset switch. So we have power reset. There it is. Reset positive negative. So we are what we're doing a reset switch. We have positive here. So we can plug this in there. Now this is good to go. Um, we, I kind of screwed up the wires here. Let me fix that. Scrubbed it up. Scrub town. All right. Now let's <sighs> Again, this was this would honestly would be the most difficult piece to the entire puzzle right here if it wasn't for this connector. So we can talk about some of these other ones. Um, here we have HD audio, we have USB, we have USB uh, 3.0, and then we have our fan controller here, and then this one is our SATA power. So oh, we could power this via SATA. This is for this panel. Sorry. So we have this for this panel right here. Uh, this panel, right, right here. We could power this via SATA, which is, that's nice. I like that. I like that option. Or we could uh, power old school with the pins. We'll put that back on. These are all connected via the panel up here. So I'm going to show you guys this panel right here. We have our USB 3.0. Looks a little crooked there. Uh, we have our power reset. Uh, et cetera, et cetera, up there, RGB for our color. So there's that. So next thing that we could do is, this is so tight, but we, we're gonna wanna feed this through essentially each one of these to get it connected properly. Now we could start with that initially, get it all out of the way. So we can undo this one. So we wanna have a little bit of flexibility here with these. So if we go ahead and we're gonna have to run all of these through really. Uh, what do we have in the bottom here? So to keep our cable management as efficient as possible. Uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll run through the, the back side and then there's underneath Underneath, we have these slots right here. So we can start running these cables right through here. Now let's start with uh, this one right here so that you guys can see. Now we're gonna run through right like this. Let's move our camera here. Taking this one, run it through the back and then through the bottom here. Now this one, again, this one would have been the most difficult 
This is going to plug in right to this panel right here. Now, if we didn't have this piece, this plastic piece right here, <laughs> it is so incredibly difficult, guys. I'm telling you, it's so difficult plugging these in. Um, now, I've done it <laughs> so many times before without having this, and it's, it's, it's a pain. It really is. So now on the motherboard, which is going to be really, really hard to see, I'm trying to get this. We have power LED there. Looks like it goes this way. Doesn't clip. So there we go. Got that piece in. That's in. You should be good with that. So we can come around back. We can basically pick and choose whichever one we want here. Let's get this. That's fine. Uh, let's take USB. This is regular, just USB that's on the front of the machine. Now we can, we can run this through here. Because I believe the USB is right there. So, sit down. We have front USB, one and two. Make sure that our pins are going to line up correctly here and just plugs in simply right there. Now that's in. So we're gonna go to our next piece here. HD audio, this is for the front. Audio is all the way up here. So we do, let's flip it. Got our audio here, make sure our, here, here's our audio right here. Uh, make sure our pins again line up correctly. Go ahead, plug it in. Now we have our uh, USB 3.0. That goes in, where's that at? Front USB 3.0. I'm gonna run that in right there. Let's see. I'm going to make sure all of our pins line up correctly, which they should, should not be an issue. There's only one blank spot, which is right back there. And just will kind of line it up with my eyeballs here, which can stay right there. It's the bottom. We'll have our power supply in. So let's go ahead and get that in. Let's go ahead and get our power supply in. Let's go with our next step there. Because I want to make sure our management, our cable management is okay. So it's important that uh, I figure something out with these because the power supply goes right here, right? Like this is where our power supply goes. Now this is a full modular power supply, meaning that you plug in only the cables that you need. You'll need this cable. This one right here plugs into our motherboard and then back to our power supply. We need that one some of this stuff over. We, here's a PCIe one, so video card. And I, let's see our CPU, PSU and the CPU, we need that one for sure. Now what do we got here for that? A four pin connector, which, That'll work. Yep. Another PCIe, which we don't have. And set these off to the side. Now we have more cables. These are gonna be our SATA cables, y'all. These go into our hard drive. So this uh, really quick one would be two. We got three hard drives that we're plugging in here. So this one should be sufficient enough. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Ah, it smells new. It smells like new electronics. Ooh, it's got a little sticker on it. Take that sticker off. Ooh, yeah. I get the first peelies. That's right. That's what's up. I peeled it first. Ooh, yeah. All right. Next up on our agenda here, plugging it in. So we have all of the uh, cables. So you have all the cables that we need. We're gonna plug these in, make our life real simple here. Cause I wasn't thinking before. 
Oops. This will go right here. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that uh, our clips line up with the holes that are actually in the power supply. That's kind of important. And we're gonna go ahead, plug it in, plug it in. So now we have this. This plug is directly into the motherboard. Very important. Next on our list, this is uh, for our CPU. We need to make sure that we send power to our CPU, right? I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Right there, make sure it clips. Now we have our motherboard and we have our CPU. Next on our list will be for our video card. So we have a CPU PCIe. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in right there. So, got CP, we have our uh, motherboard, we have uh, our CPU, and we have our video card plugged in. Next will be our SATA connectors. These are for your hard drives. So this can go in right here. It says peripheral IDE SATA. We'll go ahead and plug it in right there. So now we have everything that we need. These are all the cables that we need. Now you can see we have these open spots, right? Now if we wanted to plug in additional hard drives because, you know, apparently like what we got here, uh, four might not be enough. <laughs> we could plug in additional things there. Or if we had a different uh, or a second video card even, uh, we could plug these in down here as well. But we should be good to go now. So we can go ahead and finagle our way into this. It's gonna be a toit fit, guys. It's gonna be toit like a toiger, but we'll get it in there. It's gonna be a, a, it's gonna be a toit fit, y'all. It's gonna be toit, tight like a toiger, tight like Tony the toiger. And, oh, can we get it in there? And we get it in. Oh yeah, we got it in. Tight like a toiger, we did it. We did it. Now I need to screw these things in. So, get our screwdriver ready. Let's get ready to rumble. All right, screw this bad boy in. I love screwing things. All right, so we are all plugged in. Power supply is now in, right? <laughs> That's important. Now we have all of these cables to contend with. We can leave this to the side. We wanna, we wanna tackle this bad boy first. So what we're going to do is try to, let's take a look on the other side here. We're right here. So we can actually go in right here. Now we should have, yep, there's a little notch over here. It's a little notch right behind this, right? That's for this clip right there. And there we go. We're in. There is uh, power to our motherboard. Next, we have our uh, CPU, which is back here. Here's our CPU. This needs to be plugged in. We can come from back here. So if we lift, show you guys. Right here, we're gonna be going in with our CPU. Let's find our CPU cable, which is this one right there. We have more than enough length here. All right, so next, we're gonna go ahead and bust out the CPU. For this build, I am just going to be using the processor fan that comes with it and I just want to make sure I take this out show you guys this because this is really important I trust AMD I trust their judgment what they're doing I'm not going to be putting additional thermal paste on it already has thermal paste on there that's good enough for me I don't want to put too much on I don't want to scrape that stuff off we are going to go ahead and just let it be so we're gonna move this off to the side. This is this is the bread the, the bread and butter right here. 
Out of everything that you do when putting a computer together, this is the absolute most crucial part in being 100% careful. You wanna be very careful handling this processor or any processor for that matter. Um, this is what, obviously one of the most expensive pieces in the entire build. It's also quite sensitive. So it's very, very important that you handle this with care. It's not something that you should be throwing around manhandling by any means. You do just wanna take gentle care of it. Now, I do wanna point some things out before we get started. Here, we have this little knobber right here. I don't know exactly what to call it, but we wanna make sure that this is up because this unlocks this piece right here. Now, when you push it down and put it under, it locks the processor in place. So, as you guys can see, there's a little bit of movement there. We wanna make sure that this is open. The next thing that we wanna take note of is that there's a little arrow here, and I wanna make sure I get even a picture of it. There's a little arrow right there. Now, the next piece on the processor, there's one corner that is marked and colored differently, which is right here. That, <laughs> these line up. So this arrow right here goes to that corner right here. Again, very important to note. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. I stand up for this here. Pop this bad boy open. Again, we wanna make sure that we're as careful as possible. So now that we have it open, we're gonna grab it by the sides here. Right here by the sides, we can grab it. Take it out very gently. Now, I do wanna point out, like here, these are all the pins that are in this processor. These pins all fit nicely inside of all of these little holes. I mean, look at all those pins, guys. There's there's a lot of pins. I don't know if this is gonna, there we go. Lots of pins, lots of pins. So again, our arrows line up. We're going to, I'm gonna, this is, my, this is the part that I dislike the most, but we're gonna gently place this in here. Now, should fit in a-okay. Looks like we got a secure connection here. Now we're gonna go ahead and lock it in. Now that should be locked in place. We should be good with that. So the next piece that we're gonna be doing, obviously, is our cooler. Now, this cooler has clips, or these, you know, the, this essentially locks it into place, right? These lock it, and there I'm spitting inside the computer, that's not good. Here's another clip here. This is gonna go this is gonna kind of go like this, right? So when we put this this into place, we're gonna go like this because these right here go on either side of these, right? And since it's kind of, you know, a little bit goofy, right? Like it, it, it slides back and forth. We wanna make sure we go like this, right? This clip goes there. clip goes there all right next on our list is gonna be some RAM and you go every other slot so we're doing one and three or doing one and two um, that's how they're lined up uh, they're not like symmetrical if that's the right word Sync. They're, they're not sequenced properly. So this is this is slot one, this is slot two, this is slot three, this is slot four. So when you're putting in two dims of RAM, you wanna make sure that they're in the proper slots. So go ahead and put our bad boy Corsair RAM in here. We're good. RAM is in. Next, oh yeah, I forgot. I need to put this, run this cable. We're gonna run this cable. the back next thing we're gonna do is get go ahead and get our video card lined up where we want to put it which is gonna be right in this bay here so what we need to do is unscrew this which is tighter than molasses 
tight like a twiger. Plug in our SATA cables. Alright y'all, so that is the video. We got the build done, we fast forwarded through quite a few parts there just to try to speed this up, but it looks like it's over 31 minutes long, I apologize for that. But I wanted to try to give you guys as much detail as I possibly could, and as you guys may have seen, we ran into maybe a little bit of an issue getting the CPU cooler on, but just doing it kind of the way that I did, clamping it over, uh, getting both clamps down, you might have to apply a little bit of pressure and I assure you it's okay it will be fine just to get that other clamp on there and get it locked down and it should be good to go now I did run into another problem once I powered the machine on there was a faulty fan which I'm, I'm quite upset about because you know it's one of these fancy little LED fans however it was making a lot of noise it was driving me absolutely insane there was no way I could possibly uh, deal with that and I'm not going to send this thing back and I doubt they'll send me another fan although I will reach out to them and see if they will send me um, the matching fan for this because I did put another fan in um, actually it was like an arctic fan I believe um, so it's running it's working I'm editing videos from it right now as you can see right there we're getting this video edited and here it is, it's running. Don't mind the cables because I, I have a lot of management to do now that I have everything back up and running. That was my main priority, was just giving, getting everything back up and running. So yes, cable management right now is atrocious. I apologize for that, it drives me crazy, but everything's up and running. I wanted to get this video edited, I wanna get it out, and that's it. Everything is put together, it's running. I mean, it's running really, really smooth. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I shoot just about all of my video in 4K, so it's sometimes a lot to handle on the processor, on the, on the computer itself. And overall, I mean, I've had, there's a lot of different videos within this, um, this process that I'm doing. Um, and all 4K, it's been going really smooth. I have not had one single hang up. I mean, it does spike up a little bit here from time to time. I've kind of had the task manager open, just kind of monitoring uh, how things have been working. And I mean, it's great, it's smooth. So overall, extremely satisfied with this build. I could not have asked for anything to go as smooth as this really, even though we did have a couple of hangups, I still think it went really well. And if you guys are interested in the exact parts that I have in this bad boy, I will put links in the description as we said. And that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to do more of these. So if you're interested in more, please let me know as well. And if you have any tips, suggestions, or whatever, that I did something wrong or I should have done something differently, let me know in the comments. I'm cool with it. As always, take it easy.